recently in the Senate of College Councils. During its last General Assembly meeting, Senate passed two pieces of legislation and elected its next president, vice president, and financial director. After being tabled twice, Senate Resolution 1111, which aims to decrease the rising cost of course materials for students, was passed 12 to 3 after a roll call vote during the General Assembly meeting on February 23rd. Along with SR 1111, the General Assembly passed Senate Resolution 1113. Passed unanimously, the resolution aims to give students the opportunity to see current, up-to-date enrollment figures for courses and course wait lists when using the university's course schedule to register. I'm going to introduce the new Senate College Council's President, Mr. Michael Moore. In addition to legislation, Senate also elected its next President, Vice President, and Financial Director. Senate's current Communications Director, Michael Morton, defeated Senate's current Vice President, Emily Van Doon, for the position of President while Andrew Clark, co-chair of Senate's Academic Integrity Committee, won the position of vice president after Hannah Tucker, co-chair of Senate's Outreach and Development Committee, withdrew her nomination. Kendra Loftus, Senate's current administrative director, also defeated Bala Varadon, co-chair of Senate's Outreach and Development Committee, for the position of financial director. The three elected officers, along with the rest of the 2012-2013 Senate leadership team, will be inaugurated during the April 5th General Assembly meeting.